Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a will I buy it uh, or uh, would I buy it or have I bought it <laughs> type of video today. A huge thank you to Samantha March for starting these videos and um, I haven't done one of these in a while. So there are quite a few releases that I have spied that I wanted to talk about with you guys. All right, so I'm hopping on over to Instagram and I'm going to check out the Trend Mood 1 feed and I'm going to go back quite a ways because like I said I have not done this in quite some time. All right well the Gucci foundation I have done a video on it is now actually available on the Sephora site and I believe also Nordstrom. So when I did my video it was only available on the Gucci.com site um, and I will link to that uh, video down below in my description box but I didn't try the primer and I am still I'm still kind of curious if that foundation would work a little bit better for me with that primer because I have dry skin and I just don't, I don't know, I don't know that that foundation worked well just over my skincare. I do think that there is the possibility that it would look nice like over the primer or over a primer, like an extra kind of layer. So anyway, I do have the Gucci foundation. Mm, didn't look that great on my dry skin. Um, haven't tried the primer. Am am curious about it. If you guys have tried the primer, will you let me know your thoughts down below? Is it that little extra step that you think maybe is missing from this whole Gucci foundation situation? Uh, definitely let me know. The NARS Claudette collection, I just did a video on that. Um, I will link that down below as well if you are interested. Oh, so Clinique usually comes out with uh, like a limited edition Lunar New Year product or products. And sometimes they're just like, you know, repackaged goodies of theirs. Like I do think their daily moisturizing lotion, I think they did repackage that for Lunar New Year, but they did come out with um, a cheek pop highlighter in gold celebration pop. I don't know if that's new. I definitely don't have it. And it is the year of the ox. There is a really, really cute um, ox imprint on the pan and it's adorable and I have already ordered this from Nordstrom but I think it's available now like all over you know whomever carries Clinique like Macy's, Sephora, you can pick this up at all of those places I think at this point um, but I rushed to get this when I saw it available on Nordstrom because last year was it the year of the pig? Yeah last year I, I couldn't get my hands on the highlighter. I didn't even think that it was released in the US, like it sold out so quickly. So I'm so glad that I got my hands on this. I was actually born in the year of the ox. So I am really, really excited to get this one, um, but it hasn't come in yet, but I will definitely haul it, show it to you guys, or like include it in a trying new makeup video. So Bite Beauty has come out with a mascara and they came out with this like mid to late December. And, you know, as you guys know, I'm not the biggest mascara you know, kind of sore. I will put it on now. I never used to wear it at all. Um, but someone actually asked if I was going to be reviewing this and I was like, mm, probably not. Um, but they showed a picture of Alana Davison, one of my favorite YouTubers here. They showed, uh, it, maybe it was like an Instagram stories of her, of her before and after lashes with this Bite Beauty mascara. And I was like, okay, I may need to try this mascara. So I haven't ordered this yet because I actually just ordered a different mascara from La Bouche Rouge that I want to try. Um, yeah, so I'm just trying to pace myself with the mascaras because once you open them, as you guys know, you have to use it. They go bad very, very quickly. So um, I would like to try this Bite Beauty mascara. And if you guys have experience with this, please let me know your experience with these down below. I should actually call these videos like, let me know your thoughts on these products. Um, but I am very, very interested in this. And I think I will be purchasing this soon, maybe like next month. Anastasia Beverly Hills came out with a new highlighter that was only being sold on QVC and it looks, well, the shade doesn't look like the um, Amrezy one, but the actual size of it, the packaging of it looks the same. The pan design looks different. The shade of it actually looks uh, much whiter and cooler in tone. But when I saw this on Trend Mood, I raced over to QVC because I love that Amrezy highlighter, but it was already sold out. So I don't know if they're going to I don't know, release it more mainstream, uh, make it available at more retailers. I don't know what the deal is, but I would love to get my hands on this. And I, well, I'm not really surprised because that Amrezy highlight is, you know, loved by all. But I do hope they come out with more of these and make maybe make more of them <laughs> so they don't sell out quite so quickly. But it looks really beautiful. It looks like a very kind of cool toned, slightly gold kind of highlight. It looks gorgeous. I would have 
definitely gotten it if it was in stock. Natasha Denona has come out with I Need a Nude lip liners. And when I first saw this announcement, I was really excited. I think I even posted it to my Instagram stories. And I started to think about like, okay, which, which shades do I wanna get? Because she's come out with eight of them. And it's this really beautiful range from like, cool tone nudes to warmer tone, deeper nudes. Um, anyway, I kind of got caught up in like which shades do I wanna get that I kind of forgot to order them. Uh, but finally this morning, I actually ordered uh, three of them. I basically got, I think like the three in the middle, but anyway, another product that I will be featuring in a trying new makeup video, um, but I'm really excited about these. I love her, I need a nude lipsticks. Uh, so I have really high hopes for these and can always use a nice nude lip liner. Oh, and for those of you who are curious, I did not get a Beautylish lucky bag. Uh, one, I just, I wasn't home when they launched. So, I, you know, I was on my phone and it just wasn't gonna happen. And two, I was like 90% sure that I wasn't gonna be getting it this year. Um, I had gotten it, I think three years in a row. Yeah, maybe three years in a row. And they were always a lot of fun. I mean, they are a lot of fun to kind of open up a box and see what you get inside. But I don't know, I just felt like doing it year after year after year, like the fun of it or the enjoyment, the excitement of it kind of started to fade a little bit. So I thought, let me give myself a break this year. Maybe I'll get back into it next year or something. But they sold out so quickly anyway that I didn't even get a chance to get one. So I did not get uh, a Beautylish Lucky Bag this year. All right, so, well, I'm not exactly sure what order I'm gonna be putting up my videos, but I am doing a wear test currently of the Dior Forever Cushion Foundation and it comes in this packaging. Um, but I see on the Trend Mood site that they have the different Dior packaging, but I think it's the same one. It's Dior Skin Forever Cushion, and that's what this is. Um, but this has like the oblique pattern on there. I am like this close, <laughs> this close to ordering this cushion, even though I have a brand new one, but I really like that oblique print. I really, really do. Um, it looks like it's available at Harrods, and I know Harrods has a pretty steep shipping fee, so maybe I won't be getting it. We'll see. We'll see if it kind of pops up um, in the US or maybe at Selfridges. Then I'd be more inclined to pick it up because I have that global shipping service through Selfridges, and so shipping is free for me, uh, which is where I got this one. So I really, 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 I really want this cushion foundation, but I think I'm gonna pass. I think it would be really stupid <laughs> to get it just for the packaging when I just got this one. So it looks like we have some new NARS products available at Ulta. And I remember when the promo pics of this Air Matte like lip product came out, and I thought that looks a little like too matte for me. It looks a little powdery, so I'm probably going to kind of skip over that. But what does intrigue me are these Air Matte Blushes. They come in these uh, little jars, which you guys know I'm a sucker for. Um, and they're these mousse blushes that transform into a velvety powder for a weightless cloud-like wash of cheek color. Looks like there's four different colors and they look really, really beautiful. So I think I will be picking up these blushes. I don't know if I'm gonna get all four, but I do like the nude one. Yeah, I do like the one, is it called Freedom? Yeah, I think it's the shade called Freedom. That one really, really speaks to me. Um, so maybe Freedom and Darling are the two shades that I'll get, but those look really nice. We've got those new Christian Dior trios, which I've already hauled for you. Uh, it's part of their Spring 2021 Pure Glow collection, and that is actually what I have on my eyes. It's part of my full day wear test. Um, so again, I'm not sure which video is gonna go up first, but Definitely keep an eye out for this video or I will link it down below if it's already been published. Um, but I do have those, I did already buy those. <laughs> and continuing on with all of the Lunar New Year releases, it looks like most companies pretty much just repackaged existing products, which, you know, after a while it's a little, it's a little tedious. So Makeup Forever looks like they're celebrating Lunar New Year with, yeah, limited edition packaging for their palettes and their Ultra HD loose powder and their Kabuki brush. So nothing that you haven't seen before, but it's in some, you know, pretty red packaging. Uh, the same for Gucci. Gucci has repackaged three of their lipsticks in this really beautiful limited edition, like red packaging. It looks really, really beautiful, but two of those colors I have already. So Goldie Red Janet Rust, 
I have the Emmy Red. That's a red I would actually like. It's kind of like a warm orangey red. So maybe I'll pick that one up since I don't have that shade anyway, just to kind of get that special edition uh, packaging for Lunar New Year. So yeah, I'm gonna think on that Emmy Red. So that's a maybe. <laughs> that's a maybe I'm gonna purchase. And then Guerlain looks like they've come out with some of their customizable G lipstick cases uh, for uh, Lunar New Year. So we have, again, a lot of red going on here, red and gold going on here. Um, looks like it is red with gold uh, bees on there. I'll probably pass on that. I don't need more cases uh, because I don't have any of their lipsticks without cases. So I don't need an extra like case and lipstick um, for that. So, oh, this was disappointing, I have to say. So Pat McGrath was, <laughs> Uh, teasing a new release and uh, the first teaser pics, you know, kind of showed the gold sequins or whatever. And then it had her hand holding a box and the box looked like, you know, like a different shape. It didn't look as big as, you know, one of her mothership eyeshadow palettes. It wasn't as small as like a lipstick. So I got really, really excited. I thought, what could it be? Maybe it's like a blush palette. Maybe it's uh, different highlighters. No. So what it ended up being was a lip kit. And not that that's not exciting <laughs> but i i just thought i i had it in my head that it was going to be something uh like really different for her um but it is uh, a lip pencil that already exists it's bloodlust um and then she is introducing a new shade which is elson three so she does have uh elson that was part of her original matte trance release and of course an ode to karen elson the supermodel um, but this is a warm ruby red so by the looks of this picture it does look like uh, it has a little bit of orange in there, which you guys know I really love, but I think I'm going to pass on this. I just have so many Pat McGrath lipsticks that you guys saw me declutter and uh, I just need to kind of get through what I have. So beautiful color, but I was personally a little bit disappointed in what this was after seeing the packaging, but that's going to be available January 8th. I think this video is going to go up after that. So it's already available and I will link it down below in my description box. Ooh, Mel Cosmetics is coming out with another palette. Wow, they are really kind of cranking these out. So this is the Blueprint, oh, pal oh okay. So this is a take on that Blueprint stack. It seems like they're kind of changing over all of their stacks into palette form. I really love Melt Cosmetics eyeshadows. Um, I think the quality is great. They're really, really fun. They're, for me personally, they're not like everyday um, eyeshadows, but I am I think I'm gonna skip this one. I don't wear a lot of blue eyeshadow for sure. It, you know, even when I'm gonna do color, blue is not really a color I'm gonna reach for. So I'm definitely gonna skip this one, but it looks beautiful. It looks really, really beautiful. And if you're into blue shadows, this is <laughs> this is definitely a dream for you. And it's coming soon. There is no date posted here. Oh, wow. So I'm scrolling up in the trend mood feed. And I, again, have come to the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight that I just talked about sold out on QVC. Anyway, it looks like they are going to be dropping all of these products January 11th on their website and other retailers. So, oh, that's very, very exciting. <laughs> I'm so excited by that. Definitely gonna pick up the highlight. Um, it looks like there is a brow freeze. I'm not sure what that's about. Helps to lift, tame, and sculpt hair in place without a stiff feel, residue, or flaking. I don't know that I need that. Uh, we'll see. Definitely want the highlight. Diamond gloss and crystal gloss, peach scented. I will probably pass on the glosses, but that highlight, I'm all over that highlight. And Charlotte Tilbury has come out with some Lunar New Year products. I was a little like, oh, are these just repackaged? But they're not. So she's come out with three new lipsticks. One I believe is in the Kissing formula, which is like her creamy satin formula. And then two are in her Matte Revolution formula. And I've already ordered the one that's in the Kissing formula. And I cannot remember which one it is. I think it's so in this picture, I think it's the one all the way on the left. Um, and then the two, the one in the middle, and the one on the right is in matte revolution. Um, and it comes in this really fun, you know, red and gold packaging and it has those crystals kind of rayed out on it. Um, and then she's also come out with uh, like new packaging for her magic cream, which is really beautiful if you're into her magic cream. 
this packaging <laughs> may be worth uh, getting. So I'm really excited to get this lipstick. Um, the color looks really, really beautiful, and I can't wait to see this packaging, like, in person, in real life. And uh, Selena Gomez's Rare Beauty has dropped a few new things. Let me see if this is available yet. Will be available January 7th. I think this video is going up after that. So these are available. It looks like they're available on Sephora, which I think is the only retailer that carries Rare Beauty at this point. And this is what really caught my eye. The Stay Vulnerable Melting Cream Blush. Now, don't these just look so incredible in the pan? They have this like kind of gooey, puffy appearance to them. I just want to stick my finger in that so badly, just like like press down in it. I wonder if it's like a putty texture. Oh man. I, yeah, I'm definitely going to be picking up a couple of these. I really want that bright pink and maybe some of the nudes. Oh, these look really, really pretty. And she's also come out with... A, a Stay Vulnerable Glossy Lip Balm. That looks promising as well. Again, I just don't know if I need any more kind of lip products. Um, and then the last thing she's come out with are, oh, liquid eyeshadows too. Oh, neat. And those look to have like a bit of a powdery matte appearance. So there's uh, five shades for all three of those products and all five shades in every product look very similar to the other five shades and the other products. So it looks like you can kind of like matchy matchy <laughs> your lip, your eyes and your cheeks. So that's really cool. And the packaging looks really beautiful. Definitely gonna be getting some of those uh, cream blushes. I'm probably gonna pass on the other two things though. All right, wow, I feel like I've been talking forever, but I do wanna pop over to Chic Profile Official. Um, that's my friend Tavia. She has a wonderful feed and she focuses really on um, higher end luxury products. So I do like to pop over here and see what she has posted. Um, another Lunar New Year release. Uh, this is a limited edition Bobbi Brown highlight. And uh, this looks very, very similar to a Bobbi Brown highlight, a limited edition one that I got maybe a couple winters ago. Um, and I love it. I really, really love this highlight. It was really gorgeous. It looked very glossy and wet on the skin. Um, so I'm interested, because the shade looks very similar. I'm very interested to see if this is the same. It's called Opal Glow is the shade name. I'm gonna have to look mine up. If it's different, I will probably pick this up because I do like that formula that they used and it does look to be the same. All right, Chanel Spring 2021. Um, they've come out with a blush duo, a mascara, and two quads. I think that's it. Oh, and some lip products. So we've got two uh, Rouge Allure mattes and some nail polishes. So I'm definitely going to be skipping the lip products and the nail polishes. I am most definitely going to be getting the blush duo and the two eye quads. And I'm probably going to pass on the mascara. The mascara looks to be like a mid-tone brown color like a bronze color that looks really interesting but i don't i don't know i don't know how that's going to look on my eyes um, but i am very interested in the blush duo and the two quads now the two quads look similar and i feel like chanel keeps doing this they look similar but then when i get them in person they are actually quite different so i am curious to see and compare these two quads the blush duo looks so, so beautiful and so incredible. And it was available for pre-order on the Chanel.com, at least the US site. And the two eyeshadow quads were listed, but one was back ordered and one was like sold out. So I thought, okay, you know, when everything appears, I'm just gonna order it all. And when I went to check the site today, the blush duo wasn't even available for pre-order anymore. So they probably sold out <laughs> of their existing stock, which makes me really sad. So I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get my hands on these products, but as soon as I can, I'm gonna be getting these. I'm really, really excited for it. The color story looks really beautiful. I love this kind of like pink and terracotta pairing. It's pretty, but it's, you know, there's that little like terracotta kind of smokiness going on. I really love it. And then Dior has a Color Fantasia collection, which is launching in Tokyo kind of early January. And that quint is available on the Dior site. I will link it down below, but I did not see that. I don't know if that's a blush or a highlight. If it's a blush, it's very light. And if it's a highlight, it may actually be too dark. 
um, but I did see the quint there. I did not see that powder product. Um, and I'm very, very interested in that blush highlight product. Oh, it says right here. So that powder is Mineral Nude Glow Powder. So it's probably like a subtle highlight. Oh, I'm really excited. Really, really excited. And then I think there are like three new Christian Dior fragrances that go along with it. There was actually one on the site that seemed really appealing to me. It's called, it's like in a green coloring and I think it's called Lucky. Anyway, this all looks interesting to me. Definitely want that powder. I'm thinking about that Quint and thinking about one of the perfumes. All right, and it looks like Tom Ford has come out or is coming out with two new quads for spring 2021. We have the Coquette eye color quad and then we have the Desert Fox eye color quad. Now I am guilty of uh, kind of collecting all the Tom Ford quads because I do love them. I usually love, you know, the color story. I love the performance, whether they're the wet dry formula, whether they're the more typical pressed powder formula, which is what these are. But I have to say, I feel like I'm seeing the same quads over and over and I have a really high tolerance <laughs> for that. You know, if it's like in different packaging or whatever, or they just switch out one shade, I'm usually okay. I'm pretty easy to please. I'm like, oh, that's pretty, you know, and I'll pick it up. But it, this is just, it's just kind of like a lot, a lot of the same. And I, you know, I just don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna pick these up. The last few quads that I've picked up from uh, Tom Ford, again, not the wet dry formulas, you know, from like the Winter Soleil collection, those I love. But the other ones that kind of came out, I don't know, maybe fall last year in the brown packaging pressed powder formula, I don't really even think of them. So I don't know if I'll be picking these up. I may be breaking my Tom Ford eye color quad streak with these because they don't even really speak to me. If I had to pick one over the other, I think I would get the Coquette over the Desert Fox because the Desert Fox, that looks like a lot of other Tom Ford quads. So I don't know, I may break down and get it uh, once they're released, but at the moment, I'm not that, I'm not excited about them. And here are some preview pics of the Chanel Spring LeBlanc collection. And it looks like we have a very gold kind of like highlight powder and then we have a quad and, oh, and a stick, like a balm. I'm really curious about this quad because two of the shades in there look the same. <laughs> they look like they're white or like a cream color. The highlighter, oh, is a repromote in 20 warm gold. I do like the embossing on the pan though. It looks like it's gonna be too deep for me too. I don't know, I don't know. I mean, I usually brainlessly just pick up, you know, the new Chanel drops because they're usually gorgeous and I love them and I figure out some way to be able to use them. Yeah, <laughs> I'll probably pick this up. I mean, I just love Chanel so much. Yeah, I'll probably pick this up. It does look like fun and I am curious about that quad. Oh, another Tom Ford quad. And this is, you know, <laughs> This is a Lunar New Year release and it's just repackaged existing products. I wish they would start actually creating new products for Lunar New Year and not just the packaging because this is the Body Heat Quad. Am I right? Yeah, this is the Body Heat Quad, which they just repackaged for the Rose Prick Collection. So you can now get the Body Heat Quad in red packaging. You can get it in light pink packaging. You can get it in the regular brown, you know, mahogany packaging. It's a little, it's a little tedious. It's a little tedious. I'm definitely skipping this. I'm not getting another one of his quads just for the red packaging. Oh, I skipped over this post. Okay, this is gonna be the last one I talk about, but this is the Guerlain Pearl Glow Spring Collection. So it looks like there's going to be, um, did I talk about this already? Maybe I talked about this in my previous Will I Buy It, but I like the looks of these meteorites. They look to have a little bit more of a, a glow to them. Um, and the two lip colors and the um, customizable lipstick case covered in pearls looks beautiful. It looks really, really beautiful. So I am into this whole collection. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get both lipsticks with both of the cases and then get the meteorites. I think this meteorites is new. Are there two new ones? There may be two new ones because neither of those actually look familiar, but the one on the right actually looks like maybe it could be like a blush meteorites. Very exciting. Well, that is it for this uh, 
will I buy it? Have I bought it? Would I buy it <laughs> video? Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video.